everybody and welcome to another video of vibing with via it is officially summertime and i am overly excited to cook so today i'm going to be making what i call everybody's favorite like as long as you are a chicken lover i think you actually will love wings right so like i said because of the season now we're going to be seeing a lot of persons you know probably going out to some little football games or corner league or you know just hanging out with your friends at the pool etc and let's say you want to um prepare some stuff for a picnic this is perfect so if you look here, you will notice that I have me here some chicken wings and what I did here was to purchase actual chicken wings, not the one that has been breaded. You know, Best Dress has one that is breaded. You could use that as well. But if you really want to cook up a storm from scratch, this is what you need to do. You need to get that chicken wing and after you do, let me show you, you just want to split them up. You want to split them into uh, flats and drums, okay? And of course, you need to leave the skin on. Now, ensure that you clean up your chicken real nicely because you know that on the wing is where you will tend to have the feathers. So go through, get rid of all of that. Make sure that your chicken skin, it looks as nice as how you're seeing this here. Nice and clean. All right, so we're going to jump right into it. So I'm going to be making three different uh, flavors today. Lemon pepper, barbecue, and buffalo. Those are the three that I'm going to be working with. So stay tuned. All right, guys. So um, remember I said that we're going to be making three different flavors today. So here I have my lemon pepper mix that I have created. I'll do a separate video in terms of how you can make your homemade lemon pepper. Of course, Island Spice also has a brand. So if you'd like to purchase lemon pepper or any other brand for that matter that you like, you could go right ahead with that. I'm going to be trying this buffalo wing sauce for the very first time. This is the Promos brand, and I think this is mild. So we'll see how this turns out. And I'm also going to be using this. Ooh, love this. This is the open pit barbecue sauce, and the flavor here is brown sugar and bourbon. Come on now, guys. You know I'm going to go for the bourbon because I have the little New Orleans link, okay? That little taste of whiskey, that little something something that's gonna make this extra nice and this is a thick and sweet sauce so i can't wait for it so we're gonna go through now with seasoning or chicken and i have here my own blend that i have created not much it's just some um, black pepper salt um paprika what else is in this oh garlic and ginger powdered ginger nice simple and easy we just want all of our chicken pieces here to be coated. We're going to season this lightly. When it comes to wings, you know, some persons like it to taste like you think it's some stewed chicken or something like that. You're making no, that's not it for me. I just wanted to have that hint of flavor. All right. I just wanted to have just nicely seasoned, but not overbearing, not overdone. So uh, we're going to be moving this around and just season this up and then I'll show you the next step. We're at the next step of our process and that is to get our chicken look at it each piece is nicely coated and it is to get our chicken going in the breading now what's important here is for you to decide what ingredients you want to put in your flour for some persons they leave it plain for me i seasoned it a little bit with the same um combination that i did for the chicken and um, that is just to add layer of flavors but remember now at this juncture we really want things to be light and nice and airy and the reason behind that is because the flavors that we want to come through at the end are the three flavors we're working with lemon pepper buffalo style and of course uh, brown sugar and bourbon that's what we want to happen in the meantime i have my kitchen gadget over here doing its thing this is my proctor silex uh, deep fryer you will notice that this is the drum and not the um, square one that has that tray that you're gonna put down in it and that's because this is an older model I've had this for I've had sorry I've had this for years but I hardly use it by the way this bad boy is coming out today as well because the finished um, wings will be placed here and I have a rack that I have set up uh, it's just a draining rack that I have placed right here guys my kitchen counter full of things look just so you see you know my knife my cutting boards my fruit Fruits, everything, everything, everything. See there, kitchen mud, kitchen, 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 kitchen mud. But anyway, we're doing this right here. So I'm gonna go ahead now and I'm gonna be flowering these lightly. So it's simple, you just wanna take a piece, ensure that the skin is stretched as best as possible, drop it in the flower. Just look at what I'm doing. Just drop it in the flower, and we're gonna spin these around, right? And then we're gonna put them over here. 
to basically air dry. So this is what we can do. We could just shake it around here if you'd like. Notice the pieces are getting covered. Or you can use your hand and um, you know, do the seven fold like you think you work at KFC. Whichever one works best for you, that's fine. I like to do this because it's less messy and it's not fried chicken per se that I'm making just wings, okay? So I'll just do this to ensure that they're coated nicely. And once that's done, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to pull the pieces up and ensure that the excess flour is not on it. Notice what I'm doing? Oops. Just tapping it lightly on the side. Look at that. There you go. First piece. Resting it there to air dry. And I'm going to do that for all the pieces. All right, guys, so if you take a look at what's happening here now, you will see that I have finished the coating process for the pieces and I have left them here to become air dry. You know, they're ready when they look somewhat like this, where there's not a lot of flour um, being exposed. So, for example, this one was the last one that I did. If you notice, the flour here still seems to be a little bit um, obvious <laughs> or I would say very raw or even this one here. So that's not ready as yet, but these... You can see the flower, but it's not as um, visible as this piece. So these are ready, and I'm going to go in first with the flats. I said that the oil is better when it is reused, but I'm using fresh oil, fresh vegetable oil, and it seems to be hot. Yes, that is hot, so I'm just going to drop them right now into my fryer. Let's see. All right, so yes, you see that bubbling that's going. You want to drop it as best as possible away from you. Don't drop them too hard. Or... You can actually use um, a fry basket that might be even better because you don't want to burn yourself, right? So if you have a fry basket like I do, which is this here, you could basically just put your pieces on here and lower it into the frying pan. Alright, so one of the things is that you don't want to overcrowd your, your pot. Notice that the oil here has expanded, right? I'm going to cover this up and I'm going to allow this to cook through for about anywhere from 5 to 7 minutes. The important thing is that the meat is cooked. It doesn't need to be overly done or overly crispy because remember it's going to be finishing off in the oven. From so the first batch that I had put into the fryer is out. Remember, it doesn't have to be overly done. You just want it to have that nice golden brown color and ensure that the meat is cooked right through. You could choose to put this in a bowl like I have or you could have gone ahead and created a drip tray like I had done for the air drying here and so all the oil would basically drain here onto the grease paper making your kitchen a lot easier to clean as well as um, just basically removing some of that excess oil. That's important as well because you don't want your wings to be overly greasy. So I'm having these bad boys sit right here and they're waiting for their family members over there. Those. To be done and the ones that are in here before they're gonna be getting their nice little uh, spa treatment that's how I want to call it the spa treatment so here we have it this is the finished product after it has come out of our deep fryers I have divided them into three parcels because of course or should I say three bowls I said parcels that they're gonna be up for delivery but I have divided them equally because of course I'm gonna go ahead and hit them with the sauce now Guys, you would remember, let me just cover these up because I have to work with one at a time. You would remember me saying to you that when it comes to uh, basically working with anything that's going to be going into the oven, you don't want to base with a cold sauce. You need it to be hot. So the first one I'm going to be doing is this, the lemon butter. All right. So I'm going to head over to the stovetop now. So in a saucepan, I'm going to be melting my butter. Now it's very important that you move quickly here. Why? You don't want this butter to start browning. All you want it to do is exactly what you're seeing here. Just melt. All right. I did say it was uh, lemon pepper chicken, but I think a second ago I might have said lemon butter. But really and truly what we're going to use to, you know, give the spice, not the spice, what we're going to use to give the the uh, seasoning a little kick is this butter so we want it to be buttery and nice and sweet and juicy okay so once this is melted it's a simple procedure we just want this to be melted i'm using a whisk here just to move it around in the pot okay once that's done almost finished we're just gonna hit it now with our lemon pepper There you have it that's in it and I am going to whisk this around 
just so that it can become nice and creamy i don't want this to be overbearing as i said lemon pepper is not necessarily um a taste that everybody likes so i'm just giving them a first touch of this goodness today all right so this is ready we're not gonna overdo it once that's done we're just gonna do this boom look guys we're just gonna hit it up here we'll put our pot over there and I'm gonna show you. Oh, turn this back off. Let's come over to this section now. All I'm gonna be doing is this tossing. Ooh, hot, 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 hot. But I'm just gonna be tossing these until everything is coated. And then once that's done, I'm going to be putting it in um one of these dishes that i've lined so this is just like a baking dish of course you know when stuff gets sticky i tell you the trick already i just put a piece of aluminum foil i use the wax paper because i find that that helps the meat to retain its moisture and also that it doesn't burn you know and of course i have another one here because it's just 10 i decided to use a pie dish and line it as opposed to getting a big old baking sheet to do it okay guys so i'm just tossing this around again allowing it to you know suck up all this lemon goodness and soak up all this um buttery goodness and once these are all nicely coated i'm just gonna plate them boom right inside here and pop them in the oven for about 15 minutes you know just enough for them to cook right through and of course be golden brown wait for the other two if you notice what's going on here on my stove top over this section i have that buffalo wing sauce that i'm warming up nicely and then over this side i have made a barbecue sauce now guys you can make your own make your homemade sauce if you are desirous of doing so but for me today these sauces except the lemon pepper sauce is uh already made okay so this one is about to sizzle so if this one is the one that's ready i'm gonna go in with it first this one kind of like doing its thing now come on come on come on barbecue sauce is ready so i've thrown this here into our container mm -mm -mm. smells really good you should smell that bourbon coming out oh my goodness it's like new orleans goodness so we just wanna you know again twirl this wrong i have to be careful i'm not using the tripod right now i'm just using my hand to hold the camera with one and i'm just whisking this around so we don't want this to jump out of our pot right but this one is now ready everything is coated and so we're on to the last here we go this is our last one so we're just gonna hit this now with our buffalo sauce people nice and hot this one smells good all right same treatment same treatment we're just gonna whisk this around and as you can see the buffalo oh, hot 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 the buffalo sauce um is not as thick oh hot 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 it's a bunny it's a bunny all right so we have the buffalo you know what i'm thinking initially i was gonna put the lemon pepper by itself but i think i'm gonna put the buffalo by itself because i suspect that um it's a little bit hotter than i thought i could smell the spice in it so i'm just gonna allow this one to bathe in its own juices by itself all right guys so once this is done um i'm just gonna hit each piece now in the um tray here let me just show you use a thong and plate them up everything coated all of this coated watch niceness people me don't know nobody not excited anybody wants to come over they can let me know you know if you want to come over i can arrange for you to come over but if you come over, you have to be prepared to cook something. You can't just come and eat all of my goodness. You have to can share something. You know, like the last time I had wisdom. And she came and made some nice stuff here. So you guys have to do the same. So this is the buffalo that's ready. Alright, so I'm going to add the uh, lemon pepper now on one side looks good this looks good guys excited much that's the butter that make it kind of look like curry and of course because it's lemon pepper the the yellowy thingy is coming from the lemon all right 
people have our 10 pieces there ideally you want to spread these out enough so them can get them equal space to coat up right and then the last one is going to be the barbecue all right guys so here we have it all three and they are now ready for the oven uh, oven was preheated so i'm gonna pop these in and i'm gonna have them in there for about 15 minutes oh can't wait to show you the final product them smell good real good we have our garnish ready so i'm gonna be hitting the buffalo wings with some scallion or spring onions as persons would call it i'm gonna be hitting the barbecue one with some sesame seeds and of course i'm gonna be putting a little bit of parsley on the lemon pepper uh wings guys just wait for the plating i'm so excited <laughs> so guys that's a wrap here we have it or wings chicken wings done three ways barbecue lemon pepper and buffalo wings and of course it's always about the presentation and um as you could see i have some sesame seeds some parsley and some scallions okay that goes a far away so guys i hope you like this video and if you do please give it, please give it a thumbs up make sure to comment make sure to share and if you have not yet subscribed by now you should recognize that you're wasting time subscribe all right guys see you in the next video